What's going on everybody? Auto Fanatic CT coming at you with the reveal. So this is it. The blue car is gone. The Dravit Gray is here. Portima out. Dravit in. I'm so excited about this new car. Man, let me tell you something. I really, really, really love my last vehicle, but this one I feel like my Portima blue went in, got some work done, and came out, and this is the end result. So let me be completely honest with you guys. Um, when I was originally uh, seeing the, the LCI for the first time in pictures and in videos and things like that, um, being that I, I do get, you know, a little bit of a heads up on these things since I work for BMW, I was not really a huge fan, okay? Now I'll tell you why. I felt like I felt like the headlights on the front end of the pre-LCI looked really good and you know they, they were aggressive. They had the little the little cut at the bottom of them into the bumper. I felt like there was a little bit more styling. Um, but uh, the more and more I looked at it, the more and more I saw it, I just it started growing on me. And I guess that's that's what BMW is all about. It's about innovation and, and change, right? Um, for example, you have uh, Nissan and, and, and Infinity products, not to compare, but unfortunately with them, they've had the same vehicle, the same Q50 for a decade. So now imagine being a lover of a, a Q50 and you leased it for the first time 10 years ago and you go back three times to release and very little, to, if any, things have changed. So that's what I'm talking about. Yes, is this screen kind of big? Yeah, it is. Is it a little confusing at times? Absolutely. Will I get used to it? Of course I will. How is it when you guys get a new phone? It takes you some time to get used to it. At first, you know, listen, we're human. We don't like change. That's most most of us, right? But let me tell you, let me be the one to tell you, I'm around these cars all the time. This is my second M340, and I am not upset in any way, shape, or form. Everybody complained about this little toggle. I get it, you know, you, you put your arm down, you rest it, you put it here. It's it's not that big of a, uh, of a deal, to be honest with you. To be quite honest with you, it actually, it's, it's nice. Things aren't in the way. So, you're putting your cup down, boom, you just put it in there. You got to grab something from here, you can do it. There's nothing in the way. You got your charging cord coming through here to your phone. Guess what? It's not, it's not going to be tangled up around it. So, it keeps things out of the way. It keeps it clean. Um, so anyways, with that being said, let's get back to what, what, what you guys are here for. So this is my new 2024 BMW M340. It does have the X drive. Just so you guys know, I do live in New York. So of course I want to make sure that I have the all wheel drive. Very important to me. All right, well, let's get down to, to the nitty gritty, right? So it is Drive a Gray Metallic, which was a $1,500 option. I absolutely had to go for this color. It's completely different than what I did the last time. The last time I had the Portima was a pop of color, and I'm all about colors, and I love colors. If you guys go back in my videos, you'll see that my F80 was an individual um, fire orange too, and uh, you know I had my Portima Blue M340, and even if uh, for you muscle car heads out there, I had my 2013 Boss 302 Mustang. That was got to have a green, which is, was a uh, green color with a gold flake in it. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm all about crazy colors. But let me tell you something. Looks can be deceiving. So if you look on the hood here, it looks gray. This car is incredible. The paint, the way it, the metallic just kind of just lights up when that sun hits it. You get golds, you get greens, you get blues, you get everything. It's wild. At night, the car looks like a dark, dark charcoal, sometimes black. And then in the daytime, at certain angles, in the shadows, it almost looks like a, a richer Nardo. And then the light hits it and boom, it looks like a liquefied piece of gold that just is burning up. I can't even explain it. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy uh, describing the paint, but I'm telling you, it's something you have to see. It, it almost reminds me of the Champagne Quartz Metallic in a sense, but a little darker. But again, you guys w wouldn't believe it if you saw it. it. It looks custom. People have already asked me, is this a custom paint? Well, technically it kind of is because it's an individual paint from BMW. But at the same time, um, it is not individual. It's regular. You, you, I got my pajama pants on. There we go. Um, 
Anyways, let's get down to what this car actually has. What did I do? What did I pick? Why did I spec it the way I picked it? So we got drive a gray uh, metallic. That's $1,500 option. Takora red Vernasca leather. I did not go with Senta Tech, Senta Fin, Vaganza, any of that stuff. Now, some people don't mind getting that. And yes, it has come a long way, the Senta Tech. I will tell you, I'm sorry. To me, the leather, it holds up better. It's a little tougher. It's not as uh, buttery soft as like the Senta Tech or the Senta Fin or any of that stuff, which is it's technically a Senta Fin. But to me, in the summertime, I'm telling you right now, it's worth the $1,500. Um, it, it, it definitely does not heat up the same way. It, you don't get that little bit of that rubbery feeling. I don't appreciate that. I don't like it. And I don't want anything to do with it. So I will, yes, I will jump the price up $1,500 to get that. So if you're worried about anything that I just mentioned, get get yourself the Vernasca leather. Do yourself a favor. favor. You'll thank me later. I did go with the shadow line package. So the shadow line package gives you full LED headlights, okay? I know it sounds weird because shadow line, full LED, $600, but yes, that's what it is. I did the, this time around, I did the parking assistance pack. Usually I don't really fall for these type of, these type of things, but I really, with the big screen, I felt like this time around it was cool. You know what I mean? I like having um, the graphics and the videos and all that stuff. The last time with, with the last uh, iDrive, in the screen it was a little smaller and it, to me it just didn't really make much sense so um what that gives you gives you the parking assist plus active parking distance control rear view camera and the surround view 3d uh with 3d view which is kind of what i'm talking about i like i like that and it's cool something a little bit more technologically advanced i figure why not get the better package right and so i, I went with the uh the infamous premium package, right? This is one of those packages that everybody needs to uh, tick off that box. You just gotta do it. What does that give you? It gives you the heated steering wheel, it gives you the heated front seats, and obviously it gives you that uh, curved display with the uh, heads up display. So really the heads up. Also, new for the LCI is the M Sport Package Pro. What the M Sport Package Pro does, um, that gives you, um, gives you the red calipers, it gives you the shadow line headlights, so blacked out, and it gives you extended shadow line trim. So you get the grill and um, all those like little associated pieces coming gloss black. I'm all about it, especially on this paint. I think it looks good. Um, this car does come with a 48 volt mild hybrid system. Now a lot of people, you know, they don't they, they don't get it. Is a hybrid? Is a car hybrid? What is it? <clears throat> so my last one had the actual 48 volt mild hybrid system. A lot of, uh, uh, none of the 20s did. They started in 21. It's actually, honestly, gives you a little bit more boost off the line. Uh, it helps with your fuel economy a little bit. The start stop, you know, when the car shuts off at a light, it's a very smooth transition. You don't really feel it. So I like it. I, I like it. it gives, it's, it's something that's innovative. And again, it's a, just a little boost. As you can see here, you see you got the little battery a lot of people wonder what that is and and really when you have the um uh, when you have the mile hybrid when you're doing the regen braking and all that stuff it kind of powers it up so that way when you're in eco mode if you're trying to save power i mean uh, uh gas it's gonna you know lower basically the temperature of your seats they won't get as hot and when the car's off it keeps these things running for you it keeps your heated seats your heated steering wheel your, your air condition or whatever so on and so forth kind of still going for you um, without the car being on so that's how that works right um, I did get the remote engine start so the remote engine start to me was a must especially in this part of the country it gets really hot it gets really cold I'm not messing around with that I want to be able to be in my job you know hit that button from my phone and start the car with hundreds and hundreds of feet away so to me $300 no-brainer I went with the 19 inch uh, st style 792M wheels. So I'll show you that in a second. It is raining outside, but you know, your boy Auto Fanatic CT, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get rain down for you guys because I want you guys to see the outside too. You guys are probably already a little bored about the inside. I'm just kind of on one screen, but don't worry, be patient. I'll get around. This is gonna be a little bit of a long video. Come on guys, this is the, the first look. All right, so I did also get the Adaptive M suspension. Guys, do yourself a favor. You got to get it. A lot of you guys are wondering, ah, for $550, what really is it? Will I realize it? Will I notice it? No, if you never had it, you're never going to notice it. But I will tell you this. If you live in Beverly Hills or in Florida or somewhere where it's all flat, 
you want to skip out on it for five hundred fifty dollars sure go ahead skip out on it but if you live where you're gonna get bumps and my damn driveway looks like it's a, a roller coaster so little things like that where you're going over bumps it's gonna give you a little bit more comfort to me for five hundred fifty dollars don't cheap out man you guys are spending all this money on a car or even if you're looking to buy it pre-owned Look for one with adaptive M suspension. Makes a world of a difference. You'll thank me later. And so are the filling in your teeth. All right, so what else do we have here? Power tailgate. All right, that's a little bougie, but I did want it. I like it. I like being able to do the kick under the bumper. You don't actually have to kick the bumper, guys. It's a motion of a kick underneath the bumper. It opens it up, and you can even kick underneath again. It closes it back up when your hands are filled with groceries or car parts or whatever you have. It's a really nice feature uh, to have for you. So... You know, get it. If you want to spend that little bit of money, it's $250. And you know what? It's something that you see usually on a 5 Series. And I know at one point, I believe in 22, because of the pandemic, uh, there was no there was no power tailgate option. Me, your boy had to have it. It's one of those things where, I don't know, I guess I'm just, like I said, you know, a little, little, uh, little spoiled. Um, I did go with the Sensitech dashboard. Now, you guys may have questions about what that even is. Um, it's hard to see when you're building the car what a Sensatec dashboard is. So I'm gonna show you what a Sensatec dashboard is. Is this right here. You see that stitch? That stitch right there? Yes, that's Sensatec dashboard, all right? And you're also gonna get a little bit better material up here, but that's what the Sensatec dashboard is. If you want it, it, get, it makes it more of like a little bit of a, a custom look, a little bit more upscale. So it's not just a big piece of plastic um, dashboard, you know, whatever, you know, going across. So you get that little bit of that uh, separation there. All right. Drive recorder. Yes, I did get the drive recorder, guys. It was only $100, and I'm going to tell you why. This drive recorder is pretty awesome. So God forbid you get into, somebody hits you, you get into an accident. This is going to save your ass, to be honest with you. The drive recorder for 100 bucks. It, it before basically to record a little bit before a little bit after the accident somebody smashes you from behind or whatever it's going to utilize that 360 camera that the car has and it's going to make sure that it, it captures what happened to you listen this could be it may not even work in your benefit to be honest with you it could go either way but to me i'd rather uh err on the side of caution you know I, I drive respectfully out there so you know what god forbid something were to happen i want some i want some proof i want my insurance company to be able to see what happened i don't want to be dealing with these liars out there and how they are so what else did i get i got the personal eSIM 5g again you guys are probably wondering what the hell is a personal eSIM 5g if you're building these uh bmws again this is another bougie thing but in my mind this is the way i look at it i know my last video i said with my M340, my old one, uh, my 21, I said I probably was gonna keep it. So when I spec'd it, I spec'd it the way I would like uh, to keep the vehicle in case I bought the lease out. Because I did lease this, guys, because the technology's changing so much, but I do wanna see what BMW is doing in the next three years. Maybe I'll get something new, maybe I'm not gonna be happy with it, but at least I got the car that I love. Nice B58 engine and you know so on and so forth. Spec the way I want. I could live with this for a long, long time if I had to. So the five, uh, the eSIM 5G, $300, okay? Uh, again, this is where you can cut costs, but I just got it just because I don't know what I'm gonna want in the future. So I have T-Mobile, that's my phone provider. So what happens is you contact T-Mobile or go on your account if you have your car equipped with this feature. And for a 20, I believe it's $20 a month, your phone basically, I mean, excuse me, your car basically acts as your phone. So let's say you're, you're running out of the house and you're, you're trying to get to work and you're late and you forget your phone. Here's the beauty of it. Your car is your phone. Your car can make calls, take calls, your, everything. It's incredible. It is your phone. You're in an emergency. You lost your phone. You don't know where it is. You went to a concert. You dropped it out of your pocket. You don't know how to get in contact with somebody. Now you can use your car to make the call. It's a rolling phone, guys. That's pretty cool if you ask me. It's $300, think about it. Let's say you forgot your phone at home and you know there's an emergency, something happens. You don't have it. You know how life is. It's a one day you forget your phone, something happens. At least while you're in your, in your BMW, you have your rolling phone, a 3,900 pound phone. How do you like that, right? So that's what the, that's what the 5G is right there, the eSIM. All right, what else did I get? Harman Kardon. All right, a little controversial. 
The base system, a lot of people say it sucks. I'll be honest with you, the past month I've been driving one of my five series at work, a 23, without the Harman Kardon. I'll be honest with you, I was listening to music and stuff. I, I It was fine. It was completely fine. The Harman Kardon is a step up. Is it Bowers and Wilkins or Bang & Olufsen? No, it's not. Uh, I wish those were options, but they aren't. But I will tell you, it is a step up. It was $875. So if you're interested in that, you get that Harman Kardon to round sound for $875. Yes, it's a step up. These little graphics, guys. It's just cool. I don't know. It's basically saying the heat's on. <clears throat> All right, what else we got? Here's to the fun stuff. Here's here, here's where we, we get the fun stuff going, right? So if you guys remember, my last vehicle, I had uh, raw carbon fiber inside. It was the um, carbon fiber interior trim, um, the M Performance one. It's a port installed option. It's something that um, you could you could only order. This is on my window sticker. You could only order it if you went to a BMW BMW dealership, spoke to a manager. It's like on a back screen. It's like the secret menu. This is how you get that right. You can't you can't build your M340 at home and spec this. You need to go into a dealership. Or at least over the phone with your client advisor, you tell them you request it, and then you can get it on your car. Is it expensive? Hell yes, it's expensive. It's $1,545, $1,545 for this package. But with me, I like having things that are a little bit different. So if you have an M340 and I got an M340 and you get in my car, you're like, wait a minute, where'd you get this? How'd you get this? I ordered it. It's not just carbon fiber, guys. I got another little surprise for you, which if you saw my last videos, you'll know. What else does it come with? Look at this. Man, you could just take a nap on this thing, right? It's beautiful Alcantara. It's 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 right here for your knee. It's beautiful. It's nice. I'm not saying you know what, because I'm, I know I'm going to get a bunch of funny comments, so I'm not even going to say what I was about to say. So, comes with the Alcantara knee. Ah, uh, almost got me again. You know what it is, Alcantara. It's like a pillow. Let's leave it at that. So you get that, and you also get the M Performance logo there, and it's all raw carbon fiber. It comes all the way across here, and then you make your way down here. You have it all here, and also let me take this out. And guys, let me ask you a question. If you have an LCI, where do you put your phone? On my last one, I used to have it like a magnet, like right over there. Now, and I'm not putting nothing on that screen. I don't trust it. So I'm just using this like, where was this from? Oh, WeatherTech, yeah. You can pop it in there and just whatever. A lot of people use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I don't use that stuff, but anyway. And that's more carbon there. So yeah, if you do have a good idea for a place to put a phone, put it in the comments for your boy. Let me take, actually, let me take a second. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. It's free, it's easy, and it doesn't cost a thing. I really appreciate it. Let's help grow the channel. Come on, guys. I'm trying to give you the best of the best here. So, there, yeah, that's Alcantara, and that is the carbon fiber. And, of course, I have the M Performance exhaust on this car. Ah, yeah, that was, a, that was a little bit of an issue, and I will tell you that. And if your client advisor tells you it's almost impossible to get, they are not lying to you, and I'll tell you why. So, when I went to go order my M Performance exhaust, like I'd had on my last one, it was not available even in that secret menu. And I said, what is going on? Come to find out they were saving all the M Performance exhaust for an M340 that uh, has come out over the past year. It's called the Special Edition. What is, what is that? The Special Edition M340 is a bunch of M Performance parts, side skirts, carbon fiber grill, uh, exhaust, things of that nature. Just a bunch of, it's like parts bin of all the fun stuff that you can get for this car thrown into it and it's a package, it costs an arm and a leg, but that's what they were doing. So they were basically reserving the um, the exhaust for those cars. So they blacked it off. I'm like, oh man. So now, not that, you know, New York law is, you're not supposed to add any kind of exhaust on your car. It could be anything emission tampering. So I wanted to make sure it was on my window sticker. And a few phone calls were made. Let's just say your boy, Auto Fanatic CT, got the M Performance exhaust. And if you don't believe me, check it out. Right there, M Performance exhaust. Boom, 2,500. Yeah, I know you're seeing that MSRP. A lot of you guys are saying, man, 
You you spent seventy four thousand three hundred fifteen dollars on this M three forty. What are you crazy? You could have bought an M three. You could have bought. Yes, you're right. You're right. I could have bought an M three. I chose not to get an M three this time, or an M four, or whatever. But I want you guys to understand something as well. I get a crazy deal on these uh, M three forties through my job. Again, I work for BMW. They don't give that type of discount on the M3 and M4. Why? Because it's so popular. That car, it doesn't sit. The M4s sit a little bit. The M3s, they fly off the shelves. We don't, we're not able to kind of keep them in stock at all. Anytime we have any available um, allocations to order at our job, they fill up extremely quick. They're still selling over MSRP. People are still selling their kidneys for them. I mean, it's one of those situations where I did not um, even want to spend the kind of money because regardless of me working at BMW or not, there was zero discount basically for an M3. And I'm not doing that. I got a ton of money off this car. Why? Because BMW gives us employee, basically an employee discount, an employee deal for this vehicle. So I'm not going to get into what it was, but let's just say that uh, the M3 was almost double the price per month. I kid you not. Because believe it or not, your boy would be in an M3 if he had the ability to do so. But you know what? Sometimes it's you got to be smart with your finances too, right? I can have this incredible car that I'm so blessed to own. I've owned some really, really crappy cars in my lifetime. And I feel like this is this is more than anybody could really ever want. Now, if I'm fortunate enough to get an M3 one day, I will. You know, but for now, don't the, let's not even get into the MSRP because looks may, can be deceiving. The MSRP is true. It is $74,315. But at the same time, I want you guys to remember, your boy didn't pay all that. I paid way less than that. So cut me some slack. You know, easy on the hate comments. It is what it is. All right. So I'm going to throw that down there. I'm going to put my hoodie on. All right. Because we're going to go ahead outside. A quick show you some of these things. Look at that camera. That's in the back right there. Cool stuff. Click. Let's see. Look at that. I don't know. That's kind of cool. That's me. Look at that. You press the brake. That's sick. I'm pressing the foot on the brake. That's pretty sick, right? It reacts. So again, I'll show you here. Nice. No buttons. No physical buttons. Just a few. It's all right, though. It ain't really bothering me like that. You know, I got that ambient lighting on. Got the flamenco. All right, let's get outside. Harmon Carter. Let's go out and give you a little tour. So hard to see the paint right now, but. Let the Bridgestone run flats, you know, those are gonna eventually have to go. Those are gonna have to go. Here's the car, guys. So you got the new headlights basically flipped, right? Compared to the last ones. The new front bumper design. Front facing cam. Air induction is here. It's very aggressive. Very aggressive. So these are the 792 M wheels. These are like my last ones, but if you remember, that area was uh, cerium gray. Now it's got the gloss black and it's got the polish, which I like. You got from the factory, the M-style mirrors now, gloss black. Let me see if my back door's unlocked. It is. So it's a little bag I got in there. You know, we got the gangster leans. Let me tell you, nothing like that new car smell. Bless, baby, I feel good. So you get this little diffuser from the factory. The three series comes with just one little fin. This comes with two. Well, four, actually, two on each side, I should say. Gloss black, exhaust sips, it is X drive. Let me see if I could do the kick so I can show you guys how it works. Let me see. 
See, opens right up for you. Whoa, I don't want anybody seeing the little Valentine's Day presents. Let me close this back up. Oh, they can't show you. This is Valentine's Day is coming, guys. Make sure you get your girls some stuff. All right, so, and on top of it here, gloss black wing. Comes from the factory that way. So, you know your boy's gonna do a few things to the car. You know that. So tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think. Good for you guys. Yes, the car does come with the end pedals. I'll, I'll do a, a much better proper um, walk around too for you guys when it's nice out. I'm gonna show you guys the paint and all that stuff, but for now, this is it, a fresh B58, baby. We got 50 miles on this thing. Look how accessible and everything is down here. Incredible. A lot of space to work with. Very, very nice and clean. Those purple wires back there, that means that's a mile hybrid battery, which is a 48. That's the that's a little battery right up there. This is it. guys i'm gonna conclude the video thank you so much if you made it this far you're a true auto fanatic ct fan and if you if you if you're not a fan yet i don't know go find someone else that's your boy signing off thank you so much for spending all this time with me can't wait to clean this bad boy up and show you what it looks like in this in the sun talk to you guys soon we out